21 years is a very long time and a lot has happened since then. I think it's a passion and a challenge. The passion is there, it'll never go away. It's about horses, it's about watching your progeny perform, uh, watching your horses compete. And the challenge is to stay up there. It's about watching your progeny grow up and perform and testing your judgment and, and, and watching the outcome of it. And I think that is, that's where the reward comes in. The program used to be loose jumping on the 16th and then the Saturday we had to fill in with uh, under saddle presentation and uh, stallion presentation and then the auction. We have decided to try and do away with the, with the loose jumping and do the presentation of the, um, the under saddle on the Friday evening. That makes the Saturday a lot shorter. So this year we're going to present them on the saddle on the Friday have uh, the stallion presentation on the, on the Saturday morning, have a little bit of a break for people to have something to eat and to enjoy the day, and then start with auction. My goal is to breed horses that compare with the best in the world. And that's a, that's a, that's a, a big ask, so, and, a, and a huge task. You have to collect the, 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 the right bloodlines, um, you've got to be able to use the right stallions. For us in South Africa it's a challenge because the protocol to get semen here from Europe from the better stallions is quite an issue. But ultimately um, we try and have horses on the auction that are the best that we possibly can offer. Therefore um, I have a breeding operation in Belgium where I keep a certain number of mares. And all those foals come here, and they get produced here and get sold on the auction. No horse gets sold out of the auction. Every single horse goes through the auction, and that gives people the opportunity to be able to bid on the best.